Hello everyone. Welcome back to Gidroy Tips. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix party animals is having crashing issue. It is not launching or won't launch. Freezing, stuttering, lagging. Low FPS drop. Stuck or loading screen. Black screen. And even uh, many issues such as, you know, uh, uh, stuck or loading screen, like I said, low FPS drop which is uh, keeps on happening for many of the users and how we can fix all these kind of issue. So the first step is all about when you're having this issue, we need to do a restart on your PC. That is what we have to do. For this, we just need to go over here in this particular icon, go over here in the start, do a complete restart. So once after the restart, try launching the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Even after trying with this one, if the issue is still there and if it's not working, we have to move to the next one. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So right now the game is on the, uh, you know, Steam. When you launch the game, you'll be having the error. Even I'm having an update. So the game is not yet released. So I'm playing the beta test, which I requested the access to the Steam and they've provided me a beta test where I can play the game. So I'm playing this, not only me, everyone across the globe is doing the same. So in order to navigate to the installation folder, we have two method, one is shortcut from the Steam. Just go over here, right click, and we have to go to the properties, go to the installed file and just click on the browse. So that will redirect you to this particular folder. If you check at the top, that is this PC, new volume D, Steam library, Steam apps, common, party animal latest. Now from here, this is the application, launch the game. So instead of launching the game, launching the game from Steam will be working fine. This did work for many uses, we can try this out. Next one, we have to run the game as an administrator and run the game in the compatibility mode. So hence within the installation folder, I can show you this from here itself. Right click and we have to go to show more options and go to the properties, compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. This is what we have to do. This did work it for many users. We can try this out. Next one, we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. So just right click, we have to go to show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility and click on run this in compatibility mode. You can either try for Windows 7, try launch the game or you can set this to Windows 8 and you can try launch the game as well. So after this, close this and we have to go back, try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about, we need to make sure the date, time and region should be correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search, search for settings or you can search for settings like this. Go for settings, navigate to the settings, go over here in the time and language, go to the date and time, make sure the time zone and uh, the time zone and time should be automatically correct. If this has to be turned on, now go back, go to the language and region and over here you have to select the country according to your uh, geography. So if you're from United States, select United States. And if you're from United Kingdom, select it and do it respectively simultaneously or vice versa for every country. I mean, uh, for the geography you are in. Afterwards, just go back and see whether the issue is solved or not. Still, if you're having the issue, we can try launching the game and we have to press Alt and tap from the keyboard. So just launch the game and we have to press Alt and tap from the keyboard. This will be working fine and this did work it for many users. I don't know how this is related, but this did work it for many users. You can try this out. So launch the game and press Alt and tap and so the issue is solved. Still, if you're having the issue, we need to uh, delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer and we have to go over here in this PC, go to the documents. Now from here, we have to go to my games and here you will be having the game of the party animals. So uh, you need to delete the game. Keep in mind, you will be losing all the progressions of the game. So just delete it. Afterwards, just close this and we have to go back, try launch the game once again. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search. We have to go for control panel. Just search for control panel. Go over here. Now from here, go to uh, system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to P. Hence, it is an alphabet. It is very easy. Just scroll down and navigate to P. So as you can see, the party animal playtest is already added. Make sure both the private and public should be checked. Now go for change settings. We have to go for allow another app. 
go for browse go to this pc go to local disk c so i'll be showing you why i click on the change setting imagine the game is not here and what we need to do if that is the case just click on allow another app first click on the change setting go for allow another app go for uh, sorry browse go to this pc go to the game where the game is installed if the game is on c go for this one if the game is on d select this one go for steam library steam apps common scroll down and navigate to part d animal play test select this one and go for open and add it so i'm getting the error because the game is already added so once you add the game just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not so in the meantime let me do one thing let me uh, pause this and i'll go over here in the party and let me update this okay so it is up to date so now let me keep this downloading sorry for that so let me download this okay i'll go to party animal so let me continue the next step next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue so whenever you are trying to play the game what happens is many things will be running in the background so i'll go over here in the start i'm going to task manager so over here as you can see there are right now 46 sorry 52 applications are running in the background so all these things are utilizing the performance and that is why we are having the crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to remove the unwanted thing or, or else what happens is when you launch the game the moment you are launching the game you'll be having a lot of things running over here and those things will be uh, draining out the performance and will be having the crashing issue so just remove the unwanted things for example discord river tuner msa afterburner and all those things can be removed from here and once you remove you just need to go back and try launching the game next one is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so in this uh, pc which i'm using right now for recording it is already connected with the controllers but that is why i'm having i might be having the issue so just remove the controllers if a uh, joystick is connected remove it if any other logitech wheels are connected you have to remove it once you remove any unwanted thing just launch the game once you get into the game and you're fine with the controller you're fine with the joystick you can use it but before that just remove everything from the uh, usb unplug everything from the usb and you have to launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search we have to search for system configuration search for system configuration and we have to go over here in the services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply go for okay they're gonna ask you restart so you have to go for restart the users who are watching this go for restart but i'm gonna go for exit without restart because we are in the middle of sharing then try launching the game next one is all about nothing but we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties and we have to go over here and make sure this should be turned off which is very important if it is turned on we have to turn this off try launching the game if that is not the case we have to go over here in the launch option we can try launch the game as well that is we need to give the commands in the launch option this is a new another step which did work for many users so just give the command dx11 is the first command try launching the game if dx11 is not working try with giving dx12 and try launching the game and that will be working fine any one of the thing will be working so you can try this out next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to go for graphics settings over here we need to go for the graphics settings now from here you can see this is what it looks like so now we need to add the game just go to the browse now from here go to this pc navigate to the installation folder i installed on d open this go for steam library steam apps common now from here scroll down and navigate to party animal select this one sorry uh, party animal playtest uh, i don't know why this is happening so i have to go it once again steam library steam apps common uh, party animal playtest and uh, this you'll be having the file here i don't know why this is happening so you have to add it and once the game will be there so i'll be uh, cross checking this once again let me go over here in the file explorer go to this one d steam library steam amps common party animal playtest so this one and right? i'm not having the application uh, it's maybe because of uh, beta i'm having this issue so you can add the game from here when you browse it so just uh, go over here 
So I'll be showing you an example what you need to do. Once you got the game, you need to add it. So once you add the game, this is how it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna show you an demonstration with, uh, you know, uh, Life of, uh, Lies of P. So just click on the option. By default, this would be let Windows decide, change this to high performance and go for save. So the users who are watching this don't get confused. Maybe I'm having the beta, so I'm having this issue. So there must be an installation folder. There should be an application .exe, but it is not there. So just add it. And once you change the option from default to high performance, save it, close this, and we have to go back, try launch the game. Even after trying with this, if it's still, it's not working, we need to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here in the search, search for view advanced system setting. So just go to this one, go to the advanced tab, settings once again, advanced once again, go for change. Make sure if the, uh, this should be uh, unchecked and select the local disk where the game is installed. Go for custom size, set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So here we just need to go for, we need to search for the calculator. So let me go over here in the calculator. So we need to type the RAM that is 32 GB, multiplied it with 1024. So that is we have to type and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings us 14 and 152 so we have to paste it next one we have to type 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and we have to go for ok once afterwards we just need to try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not Next one is all about nothing but we need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description where you can get into this. So I'll be providing both for NVIDIA and AMD. The NVIDIA users have to go over here, select everything like your product type, product series, product operating system, etc. Everything should be selected and go for start search. Now from here, once you do this, we just need to go over here and the driver version is Y37.34 and it is on September 12, 2023. So click on this one and download install restart as a mandatory and try launching the game. Next one, if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details and go over here and go for submit. Now from here, we need to go over here in the Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, we can download this one, install restart as a mandatory and try launching the game. So you can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. It did work out for many users. You can try this out, just scroll down and it is what it is so x64 if the system is based on x64 you can download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one install it. restart as a mandatory and try launching the game next one we need to update the windows so just go over here in the settings we have to go over here in the windows update now from here make sure the windows is up to date for these kind of games the windows should be up to date so just click on this one and update it even after trying with this, if it's still it's not working, we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here, go to the manage, uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, it should not be installing. So the game is already in D. See, if I'm reinstalling it back, it should be either C or E, not on the same D. So last and the least one, we can try verify integrity of game file, which will cross check every single files of a game and it will be helping guys how to fix the issue. So let me uh, press this over here, go to the properties install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so uh, once afterwards what happens is you can see it will be uh, in a uh, cross checked over here and once afterwards you will be fine with it and afterwards we can try launch the game so uh, once afterwards you can uh, try launch the game and that will be working so these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue with part, uh, the uh, party animals is having an issue and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.